What's going on guys? Today Canon just announced the R100 and this is going to be an entry level Canon RF system camera. So let's jump into it. The price coming in at $480 US or $800 Canadian. It's going to have a 24 megapixel APS-C sensor, which means you will have a 1.6 times crop making a 24 millimeter lens look more like a 38 millimeter lens. With these APS-C cropped sensors, it is going to give you trouble trying to get a super wide angle shot because Canon really doesn't make a super wide RF lens. So just be aware of that. But if you are shooting, say, wildlife and birds and things like that, it's more of a benefit because then you don't have to buy such a long lens. Say, you know, you want to buy like a 300, 400 millimeter lens, you're going to get more zoom out of that than if you were to go with a full frame. You will get 4K out of this camera, but you're going to have to deal with a 1.5 crop with an already 1.6 times crop sensor. There will be no raw in this camera in case you had that idea. The 4K will be at 24 frames per second. If you are shooting full HD, you will get 24 up to 60 frames per second. And if you do choose to shoot 120, then you will drop down to 720p. I don't know why Canon hasn't allowed you to use the full sensor 4K. I don't know why they're still adding in these weird crops. It seems like such a 2019, 2018 issue that they just don't allow you to shoot the full sensor at 4K. If you are trying to, you know, vlog yourself, just be aware of that. You won't be able to get a really wide angle shot. With the crop on the 4K, if you have an 18 millimeter lens with the 4K crop, it's gonna be essentially a 46 millimeter equivalent if you are using a full frame camera. You will get face and eye autofocus, which is always a perk, especially with that amazing Canon autofocus. It will also let you shoot up to 6.5 frames per second. As an entry level camera, you won't get IBIS, but you will get the digital IS, which will allow you to crop in, make your footage a little bit more stable, and you won't get any of those IBIS wobbles. But the downside, if you are using the digital IS, you you will have to deal with another crop in this camera because the digital IS crops in a little bit. Talking about the body of this camera, it doesn't have a flip out screen, which has been, I would say, a standard on the RF system. A lot of Canon cameras having these flip out screens, which makes it amazing for vlogging yourself. This camera doesn't have it. I don't know why. I guess Canon's going for the cost savings. It does have a pop up flash if that's something that you're into using. The camera itself gives me a very old school DSLR vibe to it. The screen isn't a touch screen. I don't know why, I guess Canon's really trying to get into the cost savings, but it's very weird in 2023 that a camera isn't coming with a touch screen. You know, the menu system just feels like a touch screen, but it's not. It only comes with one SD card slot and it's also using the small LPE17 battery. And personally, I don't really like this battery. I wish they would have went with something bigger, but it's a small camera, small form factor. I get why they did it. If you are picking up this camera or any camera that does use this battery, I highly, highly recommend you pick up at least three to four batteries to get you through a full day of shooting. The upside, you can charge the camera via USB-C. When you're not shooting, plug it in real quick. It'll give you some juice. Who do I think this camera is for? I personally think it's for anybody who just wants to jump into the photography space. Maybe it's a content creator just looking to up their game from the standard iPhone or Android photos. Maybe you just want you know, a little bit more flexibility. Maybe you're coming from like a point and shoot camera and you just want to upgrade, get different lenses. Maybe this is gonna be your second camera. Maybe you're buying it for behind the scenes and things like that. But I honestly think this camera is gonna be specifically designated towards just the family photographer, people that wanna take photos of their kids running around as they're growing up or 
just the people that are creating online content, I think this camera would be perfectly fine. You know, if you're shooting some Instagram stories, TikToks, yes, it doesn't have a flip out screen, but it will have access to the Canon app on your phone. And that will allow you to see what you're shooting before you shoot it with the ability to stop and start recording. But personally for me, I would spend the extra money, pick up the R50, call it a day pretty much, you're gonna get so many more features and a flip out screen, more beneficial in the long run, in my personal opinion. Hopefully Canon does release a firmware without the crop in 4K, allowing you to just deal with the 1.6 crop. Even if the clips are only five to 10 minutes long, at least having that ability instead of dealing with the crops in this camera. You're essentially dealing with a three times crop. That's all I have for this quick little video. Hopefully you did enjoy. Please don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. And until the next video, peace.